how can you define preaching well uh, preaching could be defined in several ways there are several definitions given by great preachers and teachers of homiletics but i like a couple of uh, definitions which i jotted down philips brooks for example says that preaching is a communication of truth by men to men and i would you know make it more generic and say preaching is the communication of truth by humans to humans and it has two elements one is truth another one is personality okay so preaching is uh, the communication of truth we are communicating truth and we humans are doing it to humans and preaching involves truth and personality so in other words when i preach god's word i preach god's word through my personality i don't try to be someone else god uses my personality to communicate god's word in his way even for that matter uh, when the writers of the bible were inspired by the holy spirit god used their personalities their backgrounds and all of that to you know have his word written and in, similarly when we preach god's word you know god uses a personality uh, to preach his word so it involves two elements we are communicating truth through our personality another good definition is by jn patterson he says preaching is a spoken communication of divine truth with a view to persuasion in other words in preaching what we do is we communicate god's truth with a view to persuade people so it's not like okay I, this is a sunday morning or a cottage meeting or whatever is the occasion and it's not like i just go deliver the word and come back it's not like i'm doing my job so let me do my job no we preach in such a way that we persuade people to believe what god's word says and to act on god's word i really like that so when you uh, persuade people obviously you will be passionate and and you will ask the lord's help because you cannot persuade on your own it's the holy spirit ultimately who persuades people so there is passion involved there is burden involved all of that so i like that definition by patterson so you preach with a view to persuade people to act on you know god's word and of course that also implies that there should be strong application uh it's not enough to just give some knowledge some truths some doctrines and stop there we must certainly encourage people uh to apply god's word to their life there must be a solid application in every sermon somebody said without summons no sermon in other words without telling them to do uh, telling them as to what they should do with the sermon there is no sermon it's a mere uh, bible lecture so uh, we've got to persuade people as we preach god's word so the skill of the preacher is to take the first century context of the new testament or the old testament scripture study it and to bring it in common man's language in the 21st century Absolutely. and bring the relevant applications absolutely we must uh, see what the text meant then and there uh, spend adequate time on then and there but we must not stop there we must come to the here and now what does the text mean for today how can we apply it today does it apply for today at all you know because everything for example in the book of leviticus cannot be applied today mm. but how can we apply it? of course the whole field of hermeneutics biblical interpretation comes over here and uh, we need to see which principles are applicable today and which are not and uh, of course we can preach from any text and still uh, you know transfer some principles there are some transferable principles and applications for today and that's why as we preach god's word we need to keep a close look on the genre of each book because say for instance there are some exhortations in new testament which are very simple i mean you just read them and apply it to present day context but what about something like book of proverbs or some promises given to abraham or old testament people does it apply to us today in what sense does it apply so we need to get into the whole field of hermeneutics because homiletics or preaching cannot be done without hermeneutics so both of them go hand in hand so we must keep a close eye on how we interpreting the passage as well so the preacher has a lot of work to do because oh. he has to learn the then and there and understand it in its context and right. then bring it to the here and now you know, yes. there's a lot of work and it's a good work that god has given to us that's a lot of work that's why i would encourage people to spend adequate time in preparation of god's word we cannot come up with a good sermon by just spending an hour or two yes uh, we must spend adequate time I and mean, if, if we believe that preaching is a priority we must take adequate time 
uh, in the midst of a busy schedule, prepare solid sermons, learn something and then give it to people.